And good afternoon, meteorologist is Jesse Kelly here live in the Weather Center. Hope everyone is having a fantastic Sunday despite all the cold air out there right now. And today is also Veterans Day, so thank you veterans for all that you have done for our country. Right now we're seeing temperature 50 degrees in Shreveport, 50 degrees in Minden, seeing 45 degrees in Audubon, and 51 degrees in Natchitoches where we're starting to see some rain. And you can see quite a bit of rain especially down towards the south and west of Shreveport, all because of our next system, which is now starting to get us act together near Brownsville, Texas. But the good news is, no severe weather is expected. We will be on the northern side with the system, so expecting lots of cold air. So we're expecting a very cold rain, and the rain could be heavy at times, as I will show you as we go into this video. Right now, we're starting to see quite a bit of rain from Nacogdoches down towards Lufkin. Now, seeing some rain making its way across Shelby County right now. Some heavy rain just off towards the west of the center. All this will continue to make its way from the southwest off towards the north and east tonight into most of the day on your Monday. And still seeing quite a bit of rain across Converse and Mansfield back down towards Nacogdoches. And we'll only be seeing more rain as we get into the evening hours into the day on your Monday. We're going to see quite a bit of rain as well. Expected rainfall totals between an inch to about two inches. We could see a lot more or a lot less depending on what's when the heavy rain sets up. So prepare for a very wet and soggy Sunday evening into most of your day on your Monday. For tonight, we'll be seeing temperatures falling down about 43, 44 degrees. Rain is likely and rain could be heavy at times. So keep that in mind. And Monday, very soggy as well. So if you're going off to work or to school in the morning, be sure to grab your rain gear because you would definitely need it for your Monday. And the rain should begin to weaken and, and fall apart as we get into the evening hours on Monday. As we will be looking at partly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy skies by Tuesday morning with temperatures near freezing, especially from Shreveport down towards the south and east. If you're north of the I-20 corridor, you'll be seeing temperatures 32 degrees or lower. But all of the architects will be seeing temperatures below freezing as we get into Wednesday morning. I will show you that later in the seven-day forecast. And on Tuesday, we'll be seeing temperatures raising back up into the 40s as well. So it's going to be very chilly for Tuesday and Wednesday. With Tuesday, we'll only be seeing the highs into the middle 40s. And on Wednesday, we'll be seeing temperatures upper 40s near 50 degrees. We do have a very cold air mass making its way down towards the south. So we'll be looking at well below average temperatures as we'll be 15, 20, maybe even 25 degrees below normal for this time of year so very chilly air is on the way especially for the middle part of the work week but keep in mind these four P's people pets plants pipes very important for the next couple of days as we're expecting some very chilly air to make its way into the architect especially as we get into the day on Tuesday and on Wednesday then expecting a warming trend as we get into next weekend for tonight, rain is likely a low around 43 degrees. Winds are light out of the east at 5 to 10 miles an hour, picking up after midnight. And some of the rains I mentioned earlier in the video could be heavy at times. Here's a look at your next seven days. You will see a very wet day on Monday, a good chance of rain, cold, windy. Not a great day to be outside on Monday, so be sure to grab that rain gear. Then drying out Tuesday into next Sunday. Temperature is very chilly for Tuesday and Wednesday with highs into the middle to even the upper 40s. But check out the lows, though. That's the main story for Wednesday morning and Thursday morning and potentially on Friday morning with temperatures below freezing. So keep in mind those four Ps. But the good news, as we get past those mornings, seeing 60s returning as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So despite the cold air and the rain we have on Monday, the next couple of days are looking pretty nice. Lots of sun and shine warming up as we get into next weekend.